Hey, it's Joe with Joe Lee Farms. We are going to have a fantastic interview today. We're here in Central Park in Vilcabamba, and we're going to interview a friend of mine who owns a pharmacy right across the street from the park here. You're going to enjoy it. Watch it all the way through. Let's get started. Good morning, it's Joe with Joe Lee Farms, and we're here today at Pharmacia San Andreas with my good friend Robert Ordonez, and uh, Robert, thank you for having us today, and my good friend Ide, who's going to be our translator. Thank you. Thank you, John. So, uh, Robert has some English, and I have some Spanish, so we're a train wreck. That's why we have Ide here today to do the translation. So, um, Robert, we want to start out by asking you, um, where were you born? Nos gustaría empezar por preguntarle de dónde nació. Bueno, eh, primeramente mi nombre es Robert Ordóñez. Yo nací el 5 de noviembre de 1978 aquí en la parroquia de Vizcabamba. So his name is Robert Ordóñez and he born, he born in 1978 and he born here in Vizcabamba. Here in Vizcabamba, so raised and born right here all your life. So Robert, how long have you had the uh, the pharmacy business here in Vilcabamba? ¿Por cuánto tiempo usted ha tenido el negocio de la farmacia aquí en Vilcabamba? Bueno, la farmacia en sí es viene de una descendencia familiar. Nuestra farmacia viene desde mi abuelita. Entonces nuestra farmacia más o menos está ubicada alrededor de 75 años en la parroquia de Vilcabamba, en el cual yo me crié con mi abuelita, que era mi madre, porque mi madre tenía que salir a trabajar, y yo me creé con mi abuelita desde esa niñez. Yo he pasado en la farmacia y me he dedicado a la farmacia todo el tiempo. Entonces somos una empresa desde ya de 75 años en nuestra, sería microempresa. All right, so this business it was created originally a few generations ago, coming from her grandma, his oh. grandma, and uh, since then, since he was little, he was learning from her, and this was like 75 years ago that he followed the family business. So family business for over 75 years. Um, traffic going by. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, his family started this business over 75 years ago. His grandmother started the business, and he's been in business here ever since. Yeah. Um, Robert, here in Ecuador, is there training that you need to be a pharmacist? Sí. Bueno, hay un entrenamiento en sí que tenemos que aquí tenemos los cursos que hay de química para ser farmacéutico o auxiliar de farmacia, ¿no? Entonces sí, estos cursos los he seguido para poder atender mi farmacia. Pero en sí más me ha preparado lo que es mi abuela, mi madre, que han estado en el negocio de la farmacia como lo comuniqué hace 75 años. Yo vengo, mi madre es enfermera, con la cual también tiene que ver, trabaja aquí en el hospital de Vilcabamba. Mi padre es médico, especialista en geriatría y gerontología. Mi padre tiene 60 años, es doctor, atendió aquí en la ciudad de Loja, él trabaja también en un hospital. Entonces viene generación. Y como ya tenía esto, entonces tuve la idea de, de necesitábamos admi, un administrador. Entonces esa fue la carrera que seguí yo en la Universidad de Ingeniero en Administración de Empresas, pese a los cursos que tengo en, 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 en farmacia. All right, so this is one. Um, he, yes, you do need a, a course. Uh, the course will be like... Uh, nursery auxiliar or pharmaceutics and he did those courses he also but the most that he has learned is from his mom he's a nurse from his grandma and from his dad that is a doctor so that's where he got the more experience and also he has a, a he went to college here as a management business mm. business management and with that he was able to to do this together all of it so he does have a degree in business and um 
his father was a doctor, so his father taught him much about the business and about medicines, etc. I can tell you that Robert is my pharmacist, and uh, so if I need anything, I come to Robert and I ask for it, um, be it um, an antibiotic, or I can tell Robert my symptoms, and he's very good at prescribing the proper med medications. And Robert is, uh, has an online database that he looks in for different types of medicines and generic options as well. Um, and he also has an incredible selection of all natural medicines too. Medicina de natural. Sí. Eh, estamos sí, eh, hemos incrementado en este último año lo que es la medicina natural porque estamos comprobando que van de la mano con la medicina tradicional o la medicina química, ¿no? pero nuestra mentalidad es luego eh, sería crear una propia farmacia de medicina solamente natural. Próximamente están nuestros conocimientos en prepararnos también con un médico homeópata para poder crear esta, esta rama y, y un nuevo local aquí en Vizcabamba. Yeah, so we understand that. So right now he is having both of them here, but in the future the ideal is that he's going to have their own natural medicine. Ah, oh, their own line of natural medicines. Ah, oh, very good. Yeah, muy bueno. Yeah, so um, one of the great things I like about Robert too is if he doesn't have something on hand, um, a lot of times he can order that and it'll be here the same day, the next day. If it has to come from Quito, it might be a couple of days before he can get it here. So I, it's rare that he has, you know, that you need something that he does not have. He usually has it. Um, and the prices are exceptional compared to the U.S. and other countries. Um, there are going to be some medications uh, that are newer that the U.S. doctors prescribe that may not be less expensive here, that may be equal mm -hmm. or they're fairly close. But for the most part, things like, um, for instance, I take a potassium pill called Losartan. Mm -hmm. And in the U.S., my deductible for my insurance, would, Losartan would cost me like $25 a month. And that includes my insurance. So here I get the same thing for under $5. So uh, it's a huge difference. Robert, we thank you so much. We thank you for the job that you do for the people of Vilcabamba. bonito, ¿no? Porque realmente eh, he recibido de todas esas personas un apoyo incondicional, lo que me ha, han hecho cada día ir creciendo, ¿no? Entonces yo soy muy agradecido de todos ustedes, tanto extranjeros como nativos de aquí de Vilcabamba. Que el apoyo ha sido, como nuevo, nuevamente repito y recalco, incondicional. Unconditional support from local people and foreign people, and he's very grateful for it. Uh, we're very grateful for him. And Robert has a beautiful wife who works with him here in the business, and uh, he has a, a handsome young man for a son. And, uh, and how old is his son now? About eight? ¿Cuántos años tiene su hijo actualmente? Mi hijo tiene, va a cumplir este mes de noviembre, ocho años, y estoy esperando un nuevo bebé. Oh, que mi esposa wife. está cinco años ya, eh, cinco, perdón, perdón, cinco meses de embarazo. Sí, estamos esperando un nuevo bebé con la bendición de Dios. So his son is eight years old. I thought your wife was pregnant. I didn't want to ask, but I, I yeah. thought so. That's bueno, bueno. Su esposa, su esposa estaba embarazada, pero no quiso preguntarlo. Ah, no, yeah. sí, so, sí, yes. sí. Fantástico. Sí. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, if you're in Vilcabamba, you need a pharmacist, this is the man right here. Robert, thank you so much for having me. Muchas gracias yo a ti por esta entrevista. Mi amigo. Que me llena mucho de corazón que me la hayas hecho. Muchas gracias por, sí, sí, por ese nada. apoyo. And Aide, thank you so much for being our thank translator you. today. Aide saved us when we first came to Ecuador. She took us by the hand and helped us with everything and really helped us get our feet on the ground and get to know Ecuador. We are always grateful to Aide. Thank okay. you.
That's all for today, so thumbs up, like the video, and subscribe. Thank you, bye. Mm -hmm.